Hey guys, it's Boskerman98 here once again. On uh, today, I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to customize Google, your Google Chrome theme, which is basically the um, changing the color of the uh, frame. Don't know if you can see that, but it's dark gray. Um, the toolbar color and the background tab color, as well as the wallpaper for the um, new tab page. So, what you want to do first is access the Google Chrome Web Store. You can, there's going to be a direct link on the bottom right hand corner or going on to the next page it'll have an application preloaded so yeah it comes preloaded once you download the browser so access it so once it takes you to the home page type in the search engine search engine sorry um my chrome themes so let me do that really quick So once you do that, press enter, obviously. Um, and then it'll bring up a bunch of different um, things you can add on to the uh, browser. So it'll come up as the first item, which is the only application you can see here. These aren't applications. Um, yeah, it'll look like that's the icon. A paint palette with a paintbrush with some in front of it with some green paint. I don't even see that anyway so um it'll give the ability to um add add the app to chrome it'll look like this but once you already have it like i do it'll look like this and it'll give you the ability to launch it from here or if you don't want to launch from here um you can a open up a new page and access it from here the same icon is just a bit enlarged so this will only appear here once you actually download the application so access that close out of the previous one if you want to we don't need it so, and it'll take you to the home page of this site it doesn't list the address in the address bar but on the bottom here it'll um, list the different themes you created in the past see this is the one I'm currently using I have made two obviously both of Kingdom Hearts 3D dream drop distance should have been on the Vita but whatever so, um, oh yeah, also here you can, um, apply the theme from here, right, click on it, you can install it, that's basically, um, applying it, so, yeah, let's just go back, no, oh, no, it'll, oh, it opened up in a new tab, didn't notice that, alright, or you can del completely delete it by clicking on the, um, X right here, after hovering over it, okay, so let's click on start making theme, and here you have two options. The first one is to upload an image using um, from my pictures, or use webcam, take a picture, and then upload it. Uh, I don't. You, I have a webcam, but I don't use it, so I already have an image from my pictures I want to use. Find the picture you want to use, because it's going to be um, your wallpaper. Upload. <sighs> Wait for it. loading okay so yeah if it turns off the list it doesn't fill the entire page don't worry click on adjust position fill screen or center or bottom just a top maybe now just do top or center oh how's that gonna no we're gonna do top or what the oh okay you can do fit the screen put a left right or center tile image just um what side you view it from or custom you can put it anywhere but the middle i don't know why but i'm going to do fill screen on top so then if you click import an, an image um it'll obviously um delete well, it'll delete all your current progress even the colors you choose for your for the um Background tabs, new tabs, and the, um, tool. Ah, sorry, frame. You can also enable preview mode to, and basically that shows you what it's going to look like in the final version once you apply it. So let's disable that. Continue to the next step. And if you always want, if you want to, um, go to, tw um, go back a step, you can always look to the left, look at the option, click on it, and then it'll take you back to the previous step. 
go back to step 2 and here is where you can change the colors of your frame the background tab and the toolbar and if, if you're wondering what this does I think it basically explains it right here they're shaky what the frick I don't know, I think I'm just hungry, whatever. Um, so, yeah, note it doesn't have a good a good color selection. It doesn't tell you what color you're going to choose, nor does it even have the standard colors. So, it's kind of, I don't know why, it's just downside, but not really, I guess. Okay, and then, new tab, this color. So once you've chosen, once you've um, chosen your desired colors, continue to step three, and then it'll ask you to name the theme. Let me do that again. I need both hands. So once you've done that, um, you can add an optional description. I don't know where you can be able to view it. Um, yeah, that's the amount of characters you can use. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't want that. I don't want... Oh, yeah, it'll be visible if you share the theme. Yeah. Okay. So, after you name it, click Make My Theme. The question mark basically describes what the title is going to do. Which I don't know why, but... It's going to generate the theme. Generating. Okay, slow internet. Alright, and then it'll tell you that it's been created. And then installing the theme will be basically will be applying the theme. You can also share it among others using Google Plus. I do not have that at the moment, so I don't plan getting it. You can also make a new theme by clicking this. So note, once you get to this spot, you can't go back to previous steps, because it's already been created. Or, I don't know, yeah. So, let's apply it. It'll open up a new tab, or, no, it'll open up for a second, then it'll close. So, add it, it's gonna apply it. Then, it will give you, um, confirm that it has been successfully installed. So you can always you can undo it also if you don't want it if you don't like it. So let's check if it actually has been successful. Yes, it has. It is a tiny bit blurry. Don't know if you can see it, but through the video it, it'll look fine. But it's not much. It doesn't bother me. Anyway, that's how. That's you guys. That's how to customize your Google Chrome theme. I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys later.